Hello, everyone. Good morning. First of all, a warm welcome to OIC training by UnoGeeks. In this video, I'm, I'll show you how to clone integrations in OIC. Okay. So, when do you use a cloning uh, in first place? A cloning is typically used in two specific scenarios. There could be more, but I'm aware of uh, these specific, uh, these two scenarios at least. So, say you have built an integration which will uh, which will say for example import a gl daily rates into erp cloud on an automated uh, or in a in a scheduled fashion okay say for example you have built an fpda automation integration which will load in the gl daily rates into erp cloud uh, every night and you've built this integration tested and it's certified as working fine by the client and tomorrow or, or maybe two weeks later, client has asked you to build another a similar integration. But this time, the integration needs to import AR invoices rather than the GL daily rates. So in such case, it would be foolish to uh, start building AR invoice automation integration, FPDA automation integration from scratch, right? Because you already have a similar service built, certified as working fine as well. So in such cases, what do you do? You will quickly clone this integration or in other terms, make a copy of it. And then in that copy, you just change the bits that you need. Uh, so uh, in that, uh, in, the, in the FPDA GL daily rates automation integration, you might probably be kicking off import and calculate GL daily rates job. So you just change it to import auto invoice and you might probably want to change the file name and a directory name as well. And, and that's how you can leverage existing integrations to create another similar integration with the help of cloning feature. That this is one of the main use case for cloning. And another reason why you could, or why you might want to clone an integration is to correct the integration identifier. So when you create an integration, uh, you will enter an identifier as well. This is like an integration code and which will be freezed. So once you create an integration, whatever identifier you enter uh, during or, or while creating that integration will be freezed and you won't be able to change it. So if you have probably not followed the naming conventions uh, the first time you created an integration, and if you want to change it later on, then the only option you have is to clone the integration. Yes, there are, uh, there are a few bits that you can change, like the integration name and the package, which are more likely to, to change. But in case I, integration identifier also needs to undergo a change, in that case, or uh, change the identifier, uh, as per the naming conventions of the client, in such case, you will have to clone the integration. Okay, so let's go into OIC and see how, how to perform these two operations, or, or let me just show you how to clone the integration. Okay, so let's pick this one up as an example. Use lookups in OIC. Or say, for example, let, let me pick this up, uh, FPDA automation service. And this FPDA automation service, it imports GL daily rates. Okay, and I want to uh, create another similar service. And that service should import AR invoices, again, using the FPDA automation. And in such case, what do I do? I search for FPDA GL daily rates automation. Probably the name should have, should have included GL daily rates as well, but that's okay. I'll search for it, clone the service, and I'll give it a name, give it a meaningful name. I'll say AR invoice import automation service. And I can include it in any package I want. Let's include it in UnoGeeks and I'll clone it. And in this, uh, so once I clone the integration, so I'll go into, uh, I'll get into the integration and I'll change, I'll quickly change the uh, the bits that I, that needs to undergo a change. Say for example, here, I'm reading a file from SFTP and kicking off bulk import. And when I kick off the bulk import, I have to select an import job that needs to be uh, that needs to be kicked off. So since it was uh, GL daily rates, uh, 
uh, that I was loading earlier, you will notice that uh, import and calculate GL daily rates would have been kicked off here or would have been selected as an import job, right? Since I was loading GL daily rates in the other integration, import and calculate daily rates were selected. But I want to change this job because this time I want to import AR invoices, right? So what do I do? I go to operations and I will select import auto invoice job. Okay, so instead of import and calculate daily rates, I will select import auto invoice and that's it so with just uh in just a couple of minutes i was able to clone an existing service and create another service which will do uh, which will import a, another entity but in a similar fashion and probably you might want to change the directory name and a file name if you want and i can go ahead and activate this service and i can go back to client and say that here uh, the, the AR invoice automation service is also ready. Okay, so this is one of the usage of cloning. And another scenario where you might use cloning is if you don't if you don't uh, use the naming convention of the client. Say for example, uh, when I created this integration, I didn't use a proper naming conventions. Okay, so if I if I take down this service. If I deactivate the service, so I want to change the uh, change the name and other attributes of this service. I didn't I didn't use the proper naming conventions when I defined this service. Okay, so how do I do it? I can I can edit the service, and if you click on this uh, menu option and click on a primary info, that will show you uh, the the main details that you have entered while creating the service and you notice that you can change the package name and you can change the integration name as well so you could probably say fpdi gl daily rates import automation service okay so you don't need you don't need to you don't need to clone the you know, clone the integration to change either the integration name or a package earlier we didn't had an option to edit this but with the recent releases Yes, we can edit the integration name and package, but but I want to edit the identifier as well. So in such case, what do I need to do? I don't have an option. You see, this is a hard code. This is a disabled field, or this is not enabled. I can't change it. So in such case, what do you do? You will have to create. Uh, you will have to clone the integration, and when you clone it, you give a meaningful name or a name which matches the client requirement client naming convention so you clone the integration and for the integration name you could probably stick to it but for a identifier you can you can probably use a better name now so you could probably say pda gl daily rates import automation or you could probably call it as service okay and you can clone and you can go ahead and activate this service and, and pass this on to the client and you could delete this service wherein uh, you have not followed the appropriate naming conventions. Okay, so this is another use case for cloning. So cloning is, in simpler terms, it is nothing but making a copy of the integration and leverage it to build something similar. Okay, so that's one use case where you might clone integrations. If you already have an integration built, uh, and if you want to build another integration which does a similar work, you can clone uh, clone the existing one and create a new one in real quick time. And another uh, reason why you might want to clone integrations is to change the naming conventions or uh, or change the name names that have that you have used when you created that integration. Okay. Thank you for watching this video, guys. In case you are interested in Oracle integration cloud training offered by Unogreeks. Know Please call us on this number or send a WhatsApp message, or you can also email us. Okay, please do visit our website. Thank you.